Behold. Hi, welcome to the Hobart Commuter. So, I can't very well do a, a show or whatever this is about cycling to work in Hobart if I don't have an episode about the bridge. So the bridge connects Hobart City to the Eastern Shore, which is what this is. Now the reason why I haven't done this before is because I don't live on the Eastern Shore. Um, so I have really no cause to go over the bridge. The bridge was built, there was a bridge before this in 1946. Uh, lasted for 20 years, it was actually a floating bridge. It's quite interesting to see pictures of that. It looks pretty hairy when, on, on sort of stormy days. They built this, or they started building it, building it in 1960. Um, and you can see that obviously the infrastructure, they didn't really care so much about pedestrians and cyclists. Hence what you've got here is a shared pedestrian cycle, cycleway. It's a little bit tricky when you come. There's no like one way over this way, so no like advance on the left and come back on the right. Um, it's just a free for all. They, they've looked at instituting that I think, but they haven't got the support from the public. So when you encounter someone coming the other way, you just have to kind of go very slow and pull over. Yeah, so this bridge, um, interestingly, it's, it's kind of defined by an accident or a, a disaster that happened to it on the night of January 5th, 1975. There was a, a bulk carrier called the Lake Illawarra. Um, it was either carrying to or fro, I can't remember. It was taking zinc down to a refinery down to my right. It was a foggy night by all accounts. And the captain made a a tremendous error in the way that he navigated through the pylons underneath the bridge. He struck the pylons, causing a huge section, virtually in the middle of the bridge, to collapse. It killed a lot of the sailors. The Lake Illawarra is still under, underwater, under about 35 metres of water beneath the bridge. Um, several people lost their lives by driving over the edge. There's some pretty spectacular photographs of two cars who were lucky enough to stop and were basically perched on the edge. Is one of those occupants of the cars a guy named Murray Ling. He was in the family with his wife and two children. He saw that the bridge section was missing and he stopped just in time. But there was another car behind him that didn't and it hit, hit the rear of his car pushed him and pushed the, his wheels over the lip. Now he managed to get out with his family, which was a minor miracle. But then what he did is he frantically ran back across this bridge here, trying to flag people down and tell them that the section was missing. From memory, two cars swerved around him and kept going and just went off the bridge. But I'm sure he stopped several others. And most importantly, they didn't elaborate this on the Wikipedia, Wikipedia article, but he stopped a bus. He managed to force a bus into the side here. Just have to be careful of this thing. Yikes. Um, so who knows how many people were on that bus? It's an extraordinary story and one of the sort of defining disasters in, in Tasmania's recent history, I think. So the bridge is a relatively smooth ride um, if you choose to go live on the Eastern Shore. The Eastern Shore is lovely. Uh, the sun sets right in front of me. Uh, so you basically, the Eastern Shore gets the sun most of the day, whereas Hobart City, Man, we lose the sun so quickly, it's devastating. They say it's four degrees warmer on the eastern shore. It's like a retirement village over there, it's gorgeous. Maybe one day I'll live there. Okay, here we go, so here's, a, here's, an, here's an opportunity for us to just pull over. Thanks. So that's essentially what you have to do. This is a little bit wider here, obviously, but, than, the, than the narrow bit, but that's what, that's what you gotta do. They're talking about redoing the bridge, by the way. Um, somebody said that they need to, it's getting towards its end of life. It's got about 20 years of life left, but We'll see. I mean, that's a staggering, staggering architectural project or civil engineering project or whatever. Yeah, so there she is. Beautiful bridge. And the corridor, like I said, is a little narrow, but um, it's definitely rideable and definitely feasible if you choose to live on the eastern shore. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.